So for tops and uh, for shirts, again, most of the year it's extremely hot. So um, the one product that I did um, kind of purchase with my uh, canabs when I first got into this about four or five years ago, this performance clothing stuff. Um, when I purchased the canabs, I also uh, purchased a um, Yano. It's by First Light. It's called the, the Yano, double L, A-N-O. Again, merino wool. And again, don't let that fool you uh, thinking why are you wearing wool in 100 degree temperatures, 100 you know, percent humidity. It's, it's like a magic <laughs> material, really. It's, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Don't shy away from it. Get this if you're hunting in the Central Florida woods because <laughs> it performs so well. It has a cooling effect. Uh, when it's so hot out and you, you're, you perspire and it wicks the, the water, the, the moisture away from your skin, keeps it off your skin and it has a cooling effect when you're walking. So it's just extre it's extremely impressive. It really is impressive. The uh, very light, very lightweight, and I've uh, been very happy with it. Um, I have, uh, I just have two of them. I have this one that I bought and used many years ago, still in great condition. And uh, the, I did buy a solid color a couple years ago, and I basically just kind of swap them out. They dry pretty quickly. So um, with that, I did this past year, uh, I did buy a comparable and of course it's long sleeve. I like the long sleeve just because protection and from the sun and it wicks away the sweat. Um, I, I like the long sleeve and even in the hottest of hot conditions. Um, I did buy a Kuyu compar comparable product. It's, you know, same weight, if you will. It's a Merino uh, long sleeve tee. And I have not had a chance to use this actually in the field yet. So we'll probably get a chance to use it this uh, September, and we'll let you know how that goes. However, I did use uh, last year the uh, the Ku this is a Ku uh, Kuyu product. It's their T the T-shirt, and it's the Poly T-shirt. So it's not Merino. Again, the uh, the difference between the the Poly and the uh, mer Merino um, is you know. There's, it's the feel, I guess, you know, the, the Kuyu Merino compared to the uh, First Light Merino, the First Light wins. It just feels better. The Kuyu Merino feels kind of um, rough. So I haven't quite figured, uh, have a chance to, to have, see what it feels like when it's full of you know, perspiration yet. But the Poly, I did wear full on soaking wet and it performed really well. Um, I had no issue. I, I actually, I like I like it because it's even lighter than the, both of the either of these merino products. It's much lighter. It's a t-shirt, a poly t-shirt or a poly blend, and I have no problem wearing this one. I love it. Um, I actually, I started using this one more last year than the uh, First Light Yano because I'd been using the Yano for so many, so many hunts. And I just was like, well, I'll just give the Poly a try. And I'm falling in love with the Poly now, uh, even more than the, uh, the uh, Merino product, just because it's so light. And it does do, it does perform really well as far as, far as wicking away perspiration. Um, I don't think it has as much cooling effect as the Merino does, uh, provides, but it's perfectly good. Um, Keeps you nice and cool. So I do, th those are my shirts um, that I'd recommend.